Okay, so we are going to show you the mechanics or how a waste heat recovery system works when you are connecting this type of system on your air conditioning system and water heater. There's some confusion in the industry, but we're going to make it as easy as possible, hopefully to the to the homeowner in an easy very easy way to understand so you see what's going on and how you can use the wasted heat from your outside air conditioning unit to heat water inside your tank with this equipment right here. So the first thing you need to do, you need to understand is before, basically the way the refrigeration cycle works. So these two pipes that you see down here go into your air handler, your indoor equipment. But before the refrigerant leaves this compressor in a liquid form, it needs to circulate around your outdoor unit or your condensing unit. And this is the outdoor coil. It's kind of like a radiator on a car. So this condensing unit has copper or aluminum pipes that go all the way around it like the radiator on your car from the bottom here all the way to the top and then you have this fan that's basically pushing air up and what that does is it makes this refrigerant that's now in a liquid form that's really hot as it exits the compressor let's say for example 160 165 degrees fahrenheit what it does is it lets it go through here thus cooling it down before finally leaves the condensing unit through this little skinny pipe down here. So being that your refrigerant is leaving the compressor here before it enters the coils, the hottest point would be right here, or maybe even here, or maybe here, anywhere before it hits the coils where it starts losing its heat. So what we essentially do is you drill two holes through the cabinet here and we would do this basically. So let's say, let's use red for hot and make it a little thick. So we're going to take this, we're going to take this uh, refrigerant, let me just erase that. We're going to take this refrigerant and we're going to take it out like this and send it into this heat exchanger and it's going to go around this heat exchanger and then it's going to come down here and then it's going to go back and continue the process of going through the coils like this And then eventually it's going to make its way around and then leave the unit to your air handler. So hopefully this is making sense to you. But basically there, there's going to be a break right here. So this requires some soldering because you are going to be welding copper. So you're going to take, take this out this way. This is about 160 degrees or so send it through this heat exchanger and then it's eventually going to make its way back and continue its regular process on the water side what we do is we take cold water and remember the cold water the way it comes into your tank is like this and the hot water basically goes like this so cold water from your city or well your water source into the tank and then it leaves to your house so it comes in cold it gets heated and then it goes out to your house so what we're basically going to do is we're going to take that water this cold water here and we're going to send it either through your attic or through the bottom or whatever 
into this heat exchanger. The pump is going to circulate it. It's going to circulate this cold water through this heat exchanger, which is extremely hot because remember, we're taking 160 degree Fahrenheit refrigerant and the heat from the refrigerant is going to transfer over to the cold water. And they're basically going to run through this coil. And when it's all said and done, the water is going to come out of the heat exchanger and it's going to be plumbed into your water heater tank through the bottom. This, this is basically the way this works. You're basically, while you're cooling your home in the summertime, you are dumping hot air from this outside condensing unit into the air. Well, don't, don't pay to cool your house and dump this air outside. You're paying twice. Take this heat and run it through this heat exchanger and use it to heat your water that's inside this water heating tank. Some, some owners of this heat recovery unit have actually turned off their circuit breaker to their water heater tank during the summertime, thus getting hot water absolutely free. Heating the water without paying the utility company to heat the water. You're basically using the heat, which you're already paying the utility company to run your air conditioner. You're using that heat to basically heat the water. So this is the standard, most common install that we see. Now we're going to take you out into the field so we can take some temperature readings so you can see how it all works. And this drawing here which I'm not the best at drawing, will make a little bit more sense once we take you out to the field. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here we are looking at a heat recovery system and we're going to do some test readings so you can see exactly how this heat recovery works. So there's the cover on the ground and right now we have our thermometer probe reading And if you look down there, right above my fingernail, 166.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is the reading of the refrigerant as it leaves the air conditioning system. So the refrigerant, as it leaves, it's leaving in a liquid form and it's going into this heat exchanger or heat recovery at 100 Right now it's 168, you can see that down there, 168.2. So the heat is essentially being exchanged from the hot liquid line into the cold water, which is then circulated with this circulation pump through this heat exchanger. So the cold water is being brought in here from the water heater tank and then returned to the water heater tank at a much hotter temperature. So, so let's measure, this is the cold water going out to the heat recovery unit. And now we're gonna measure the hot water coming in, which will be down there at the bottom. So we're gonna put our sensor down there. So there we go, folks, we got 120 degrees coming back from the heat recovery unit, 120 degrees and climbing. So this is showing you that it's taking the water from here in about 90 degrees, sending it over to the heat recovery and coming back from the bottom, which is where it's tapped into at 122 degrees and climbing. So we're easily getting a 30 plus degree rise just by doing something you do all summer long anyway, which is cool the house. So as you're running the air conditioning inside the house, the heat exchanger is taking the heat from that, that wasted heat from the air conditioner and using it to heat your water. So right now we're, get, we're getting 30 degree plus rise easily. 
So what we are measuring now, if you look behind there, okay, right there, is the gas coming back to the air conditioning unit after it's already gone through the heat exchanger. So it goes through the heat exchanger, and as you can see, even though it's hot in the 130s, it's a lot cooler than the way the gas left the system. So these two pipes right here, if you follow them closely here, they're going into the air conditioning unit. And then these two pipes in the center is the cold water coming into the heat exchanger and the hot water going back from the heat exchanger into the water heater. So it's a simple process. Basically, we just take the hot gas from the air conditioner and use it into free hot water. So these systems do work, and then all it is is a small circulating pump, and you can see there the specs. 0.28 amps, so it barely uses any power. And this system does work. It'll heat your water for free. At the same time, it's going to make your air conditioning system much more energy efficient because you are taking the hot liquid gas before it even goes through the condenser. So the condenser and the fan are designed to remove the heat. But if you're removing the heat first here, and then returning back to the unit, then there's less heat for it to remove. Your unit is going to re remove basically your air conditioner, 130 degree heat versus 160, which is what we were getting before. So it's also gonna make your air conditioning system much more energy efficient.